It's been several months since Oklahoma City took water from Canton Lake in northwest Oklahoma to boost the city's water supply. At the time, residents of Canton were worried that taking water from the lake, which was already at historic lows, would mean the death knell for Canton Lake and possibly the town. State Impact Oklahoma's Logan Layden revisited Canton to see whether the lake and the residents had recovered. I spoke to him about what he found. Logan, Canton Lake was incredibly low before Oklahoma City took the water from it. What does it look like now? Well, uh, you got docks that are just kind of sitting on the ground. You've got islands that have come up in the lake that, that weren't there before. There's still some water in it, but it's just obviously incredibly low. It's just it's clear from looking at the shoreline, what used to be the shoreline. Parts of the state have received rain. Has Canton received any appreciable rain? They have. They've seen drought improvement like much of the rest of the state has, and they have recovered a couple of feet of the lake over, the, over this past summer, just not enough to make much of a difference, not enough to bring the water up to the level of where people would launch their, their boats from. So they've seen some recovery. A lot of the rain was soaked up into the ground, you know, in that basin before it got to the lake. To what has dry. that done to tourism? Well, it's pretty much killed it out there. I mean, this is what we found when we went out there the other day. Uh, none of the boat ramps reached the water except for one, and that was the Canton Lake Association had gotten together themselves and extended one of the ramps. So there's one accessible ramp. But no, when we were out there earlier this week, it was a you know, fairly decent day, but there, there wasn't a single boat on the lake. So it has killed tourism pretty much. What are residents in the Canton area saying? Well, they're very worried about their town. Uh, you know, I, we talked to several business owners, owner of the local you know, grocery store, whose people are very close to bankruptcy. They tell us that the population of the town you know, doubles during the summer, during lake season in Canton, and that the town completely rely without that it can't last for very long. And they had urged officials in Oklahoma City to wait before taking the water. Right, that was one of their requests to wait and see what the spring rains would, would bring. Of course, Oklahoma took the water, I think, in late January. They started to take the water. Uh, they wanted Oklahoma City to wait, but Oklahoma City was in a very uh, difficult situation and there were difficult choices that had, that had to be made and they still feel you know, justified that Oklahoma City needed that water at the time, even though, you know, just within a few months, there was more than enough water to fill Lake Hefner because of rain. What are Oklahoma City officials saying? Well, Oklahoma City officials are saying that they did what they had to do, that Oklahoma, you know, they, they can't see into the future. They, you know, they have the climate forecast and they looked very bad. It didn't look like there was going to be a whole bunch of rain this summer. It just looked like more drought. And so they felt like that was the right time to make the withdrawal. A story we'll be following and so will you. Logan Layden from State Impact Oklahoma, thank you. Thank you.